Today, I want to cover Death Frost Doom. There's a curse laid on everything in that place. Cursed! Do you hear me? Cursed! Up at the mountain is a house by a cemetery, haunted by memories of atrocities past. The cult of the mountain is long gone, yet music of weirdling death carries in the wind. The mountain is cold, so very cold. And the greedy and foolish will march bravely up the mountains for gold and glory. You are doomed! So, Death Frost Doom was the very first module ever published by Lamentations of the Flame Princess. It was originally written to be system neutral for Osric or Labyrinth Lord or whatever old school game you're going to run, but it was later revamped by these people, including Zach S., also known as Zach Sabbath or Zach Smith, and so he's become kind of a controversial figure because of things going on in his personal life, and so Lamentations cut ties with him, and as a result, this, this book is out of is out of print. The copies I have less left, they're going to sell, but once they're gone, it's gone forever. Well, let's take a look. See. So, there's, there's maps on the inside. I think I'm going to go back to those. Yeah, this is a new edition. So there's some new artwork by Zach here. Basically, you... You climb a mountain, and part of the way up, you meet Ezekiel Duncaster, which is that name ties it into scenic Dunsmouth. The Duncaster family is one of the families there. And he tells you, don't go up that mountain. It's horrible. Don't go up there. And if you do, then you find... From Zeke's hut, you'll find a graveyard with a hanging tree and a cabin, and underneath is a series of catacombs. And that's pretty much it. Now there's some dead bodies on the mountain. There's a cabin. The cabin is weird. Lots of weird stuff going on in the cabin. Uh, the one time I ran this, the players didn't really fully explore the cabin even. They were wanting to get to the dungeon. Which is quite a shame. And one of the things, there's a organ. And there are all kinds of different effects that happen depending on what music you play on the organ. I wished I had a portable electric organ for the players to play. to see what they would do. So, you know, it's a, a shrine with catacombs and tombs. There was a kooky cult here at one point. And the bottomless pit. There's some undead in here. And it's on a time limit. There's these frozen skulls, and they keep falling from the ceiling, and this allows you to measure time. And when time runs out, the undead attack. There are thousands of undead underneath there and they don't come loose unless the players go up the mountain and poke around at stuff uh, there's a interesting magic item called purple lotus dust that has various effects and here's what the original maps look like as I said this was revamped Here's some of the original artwork. I like some of the original artwork better. 
Now here's a player's handout. Uh, you need the PDF so you can print the player's handouts for them. But the inside cover is just the ending here. So I much prefer this version, but it's out of print. The current version here is a 10th anniversary edition. It's got it's fuzzy and embossed, and it's higher quality paper. But I find that the higher quality paper is kind of stiff and hard to use. But if you're like me, you'd like a physical copy. So, as I said, uh, Zach. Zach S, Zach Smith, Zach Sabbath is no longer associated with Lamentations the Flame Princess. They still carry the stock of the stuff that he made, but once it's gone, it's gone forever. So I I highly recommend this module. It's quite fun. I, I ran it once in person with some new school players. And one of them leaned over my DM screen because he wanted to see the map while we we're playing. I've never seen that book happen before in my life. That was just shocking to me, but it was quite fun. And I was able to cut it down to make it a single session adventure pretty easily. But the new school players couldn't wrap their brain around the idea that the apocalypse goes off. They, they wanted it to be resolved, so I had to make up on the fly a convoluted series of events so that they could win. Because <laughs> I just couldn't accept that the undead army rises up out of the place and devastates the landscape. Which, in my Lamentations games, that's, if I ran this, that's what would happen. So I'd, Anyway, great module, get it while you can.